you might have often seen veteran smokers show their macho and prowess by blowing smoke rings. But smoking is very injurious for our health. Smoking kills. However, you can make beautiful smoke rings using an incense stick and this humble throwaway plastic bottle. And what we need to make smoke rings is not cigarettes, but plastic bottle, incense sticks and a balloon. First take a middle size used plastic bottle and cut its base. Now cut the top part of a balloon, close the base of the bottle with this balloon. Burn a couple of incense sticks and hold the burning part inside the bottle so as to fill the whole bottle with the incense stick smoke. Now we are ready to make our smoke rings. Tap the balloon and you will see the rings emerging from the mouth of the bottle. A smoke ring is commonly formed when a puff of smoke is suddenly injected into a clear air, especially through a narrow opening. The outer parts of the puff are slowed down by the still air. The ring has its momentum and that's why it moves forward. And because of its spin, it can keep its shape Otherwise, the friction with the air will make it collapse. If we see these rings outside in still air, we can see that they can keep their shape for a large distance. This is the cross section of the smoke ring and you can observe the spin here. And then you can compare it with the smoke rings that you blow. So have fun making smoke rings and try to catch them just like these children. I hope you enjoyed making smoke rings. And now it's time to think. Rings are everywhere. Bangles, bagels, even this ring, rubber ring that we play with. So you see two circles in this ring. One inner, one outer. And so if you cut across like horizontally from here and come out from here, you will see two rings again. What if you were to cut slanting like this and come out like this, what will you see? Try this and it will be amazing what you will see. Two circles of equal size.